so I just got back from a walk and I got this Ancestry DNA kit and I've been wanting to do this for so long and they had a sale so um, it was like a one day kind of thing so I jumped on that opportunity and I'm gonna try it out I'm super excited to see where my heritage is from my lineage um, where most of my family's from I've just always been very curious about that because um, it's kind of like just going back in time a little bit and finding out just what you're about and I've also just been curious about maybe traveling to those countries that I originate from um, just to connect a little bit um, I think that's natural I think a lot of people like that so I'm really excited and I'm going to go through all of these steps and see how it turns out so first we have the actual tube which apparently you're supposed to spit a lot of saliva in. I thought it was just a swab, but you're supposed to like fill the tube with spit. So that'll be interesting. Um, and then I have the first step is to activate it on the website. So I'm gonna do that now. So in the bedroom on my computer, and this is where we activate it. And I just go to to spit into the cup. So here we go. So first I need this like activation fluid and this tube. So I guess I just start spitting. It's supposed to go up to this wavy line so all that spit. Here we go. Two hours later. Twenty minutes later. A few moments later. It's like so close. Um, but it's not supposed to include the bubbles. And so... Later. But you're not supposed to overfill. So I'm trying to... I think that's good. That looks good. Okay, so now what's next? Fill the tube with saliva to the black wavy line, not including the bubbles. Why are there so many bubbles? I want to know that. My goodness, what are we seeing here? We're seeing starch on my spit. Anyways, replace the funnel with the cap. Screw on the enclosed cap tightly to release the solution in. I think that's good. Tightly to release the solution. I mean, that's pretty tight and nothing's coming out. So, tightly to release the solution that will stabilize the DNA in your saliva. Tighten to release the stabilizing fluid. You will know that it works when the blue solution from the cap has emptied into the tube. Well, the blue solution is not emptying and I've tightened it as tight as I can. So, maybe I'll try again. I don't want to break it. Oh, well, there it goes. Okay, that's good. And then shake the tube for at least five seconds. This will ensure the sample mixes thoroughly with stabilizing solution so your lab can be processed. So five seconds. Um, so that's good. Place the tube in the collection bag provided. And then they gave us a little box to put it in. 
and that's it. So I'm going to mail it off, and then we'll see the results. I'm excited. You guys should totally do this if you haven't yet. I mean, I got my. It was really expensive, so I haven't done it in years. And I'm the one who did this forever, but um, they had a sale. It was like a one-day sale where it was only forty dollars, and normally it's like I don't know, like seventy or maybe even a hundred dollars. I don't know, but it was always really, really expensive. So yeah, I'm excited. Um, so I'll let you guys know. What it turns out. Actually, just waking up. Um, it's really early. I'm gonna have to get ready for work here in a little bit, but I haven't done this in a while, so I thought I would check in and just say hi. And I also got my results back from Ancestry, so I was gonna share those as well. Um, but right now, I'm going to finish my breakfast because I'm hungry and uh, work on this puzzle here and watch a little tube. So um, when I'm done with that, I will get ready and then I will share my results. Hope everyone's having a great day so far and I'll check back with you in a second. Okay, so I'm ready for work and I'm kind of late getting off so I'm just going to run through my um, ancestry results really quickly um, before I leave. Hopefully the lighting here is okay and you can see me. Um, but yeah, I really need to do more of these videos, but I have been like super busy with work and um, just really having a hard time um, getting content and stuff ready and just been having a lot of just, you know, personal health issues. So that is the main reason why I haven't been able to upload regularly. But um, I also am taking personal accountability for this because this is a lot like every journal I've ever had in my life where I've started it and I'll write for a couple of months and then I'll put it aside because life just gets crazy and then I don't pick it up for a long time and then I pick it up again and start entering in. So hopefully I will be more consistent with this because it is more public and, um, and I do really, really want to keep record of things that are going on in my life just for me personally even to look back on and to capture those days and those moments um, and it's so fun for me to even look back on the few videos that I've already done and I just wish that I would just be more consistent with it but um, I don't know I've just never really had a kind of lifestyle that's been a routine um, so it is very uh, it's just definitely one of my challenges and um, I don't know, fatal flaws, I guess, but I will hopefully get better at that. But anyway, without further ado, um, so the DNA results for me came out kind of unexpectedly because I had always thought that I was predominantly British or of English descent, which I am um, from there. I do have Great Britain, but it was like lower on the list than I thought it would be. Um, so the majority of my background is actually Scandinavian, which I knew that as well because my mother's side is predominantly um, of Dutch descent, so I kind of was expecting that, but I definitely was not expecting it to be so much. Um, so that's like predominantly where I'm from, and then after that, it's Europe, the Western Europe, so um, like France and Germany and over in that area and then third is Great Britain and then after that is Ireland, Scotland and Wales and actually my father's um, family is from Wales so I thought again that would be way higher than um, than anything else but it's really just interesting um, and then the last one of the higher percentages was Iberian Peninsula so like 
Spain and Portugal area which I thought was really interesting as well. So um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with this. I did share it with my family, and they were um, also interested to know that. Um, my mom's really happy because she's like, I told you, I told you, you guys were more Dutch. And um, anyway, but it's fun, and it's definitely um, something I hope to eventually get a chance to travel to see more of that culture and that heritage um, in person. And I don't know, I've even um, downloaded some Dutch on my phone to see if I can learn it a little bit. I don't know. I've just felt this sort of um, need to connect with that lately. So yeah, I don't know. It's been fun. But um, yeah, so hopefully you got some interest out of that. I don't know. But let me know in the comments if you have done any DNA testing, if you've done any of the um, background websites and let me know what your results are and if you were surprised or you pretty much already knew what you were going to find out. I didn't pay for the subscription, so um, there's a lot more detail and information that comes with a paid subscription to Ancestry.com, um, which I will consider in the future when I have a little bit more money to throw in that direction. But for now, um, I'm happy with this, and it gives me something to sort of research and connect with, so I'm happy. Um, but anyways, I have to give, run off to work now. Um, but I just want to say thank you for being so patient if you came back um, and I'm hoping to get more video videos up I did start a new channel um, it's called yoga camp for kids and it's basically like my yoga camp um, which I'm starting it's a kids yoga and wellness channel and I've started that and I've been doing a little bit over there so I will link that in the um, in the description if you're interested in checking that out but um, it obviously it's mostly for kids and stuff so um yeah that's it for now if I think of anything else I'll let you guys know and just hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you later bye